Hi, my name is Aman. I'm a nanotechnology engineering at the University of Waterloo and I'm doing my co-op at the STEAM project. So this semester I decided to do my personal project on tissue culture and essentially what tissue culture is, is taking a small amount of plant material and putting it in an artificial environment to which it has the certain micro and macronutrients it needs to grow and then encasing it so that it's completely closed off from everything outside. So this is the actual plant material that we got from Dennis Zhu. Um, he donated it graciously to the STEAM project so we could run these trials and it's Drosera spatulata is the name of the plant. I transferred them into these vessels and exactly how this process worked is I had to create certain media from these different chemicals. So what we have here is the gelling agent that we used for the media, we have plant preservative mixture, and we have the actual micro and macronutrients that is used for the specific type of plant as well as glucose. When you mix these all together, these, this is everything that the plant needs to survive in this enclosed environment. So after we mixed it on this hot plate stirrer um, and let the gel cool, um, the gel set, and then we put it in an autoclave to sterilize. We took the plant material and inside this thing, this laminar flow hood, we were able to, in a sterilized space, transfer the plant material into each of these vessels. And the way that this laminar flow hood works is this filter at the back is called a HEPA filter, which actually filters out 99% of all contamination over 0.3 microns in size. So we use gloves for this process also and sterilized our hands, sterilized all the equipment we used, then we transferred the plants, sealed it with wax paper so no contamination could get in. I have noticed a little bit of growth in them. Actually, I believe these stems at the top weren't there once we started. And I'm tracking them currently. Can you talk a little bit about working with Dennis Zhu from Living Glass? So it was, it was actually quite a big surprise working with Dennis. Um, Coming into the STEAM project, I didn't know like what I was going to be doing. And then when I took on this tissue culture experiment, I was a little bit nervous because I don't have a huge background in biology. But when Jay told me that he knew somebody that actually based his company around tissue culture and then got me in contact with him, Dennis was actually a huge mentor for, for me. Um, me being able to openly come um, with questions and then him telling me how he started off as a DIY tissue culture kind of scientist helped me so much because he gave me certain tips on how I could start without having the industrial equipment that he has in his laboratories and the university that he gets, he gets to work with. If any contamination gets into this enclosed environment that you create, it will essentially kill the plant from the inside because nothing gets in and nothing gets out of the vessel. Typically in tissue, when people are doing tissue culture, it's in an aseptic environment, which means everything is sterilized. And at the STEAM project right now, because this is a developing project, we don't exactly have the, the space that we need to create an aseptic lab. Just creating an environment where everything had to be just sterile enough um, was a, a big challenge, but we were able to do it to, to the best of our ability so far. I think that was the biggest challenge we faced and hopefully overcame as we monitor the plants for the next little bit. What have you learned about yourself while working at the STEAM project? It was a great term to develop my interest. So coming to this term, I actually started off with wanting to do a robotics project. And then I realized that I could just branch off and do something else that I didn't even study in high school. So and then I did this biology, biochemistry project. And I think I really found a a passion for something that I had no idea I was gonna have a passion for when I came to the STEAM project. So it really like opened the doors for me and allowed me to try new things and gave me opportunities. I think the biggest piece of advice I would give a future co-op student at the STEAM project is one, apply yourself, you know, like in every in every way that you can, take on new, new challenges and new projects, in, like even if they're out of your realm of specialty kind of because you never know what you're gonna you never know what you're gonna like and what you might like if you don't try it uh, i think i'm a prime example of this like i want before my career path was i wanted to go into material sciences and although that dream is not completely washed away like being able to do tissue culture here has given me like a secondary opportunity and a secondary path for what's possible in my future so 
I definitely think like just keeping your doors open and trying new things is a great way to find new interests. Yeah, just add a skill to your quiver exactly. of skills. Exactly, there's no detriment to it at all.